Welcome to another Mars Play video. This is Mars Mojito, and today we're going to be getting into a Old West style monster shooter game. And this is going to be the pilot episode. We're playing Blood West. Let's get to it. This land is cursed. Where my people roamed freely, now roams only death. It came with the white man on his iron horse. White man brought with him corruption, greed, vanity, ignorance. He killed on holy ground, and the great spirit has abandoned this place. The dead can no longer leave the mortal realm. Restless and enraged, they wander the earth, craving for more of living flesh. A fate worse than death, undeserving even for a stupid white man. Light still flickers within you, stranger. Go now. Leave this place. May the great spirit take pity on you. May your soul find peace in the spirit world. Oh, it worked. It worked. And he is even in one piece. Oh, me? You mean us? Nothing but an amalgamation of souls. More important question is, who are you? The answer is, you're undead. We brought you here by means of our immense powers from whenever place you've been before. We know of your exploits and achievements. Your fame reaches wide across the country. The nasty rumors about you reach even further. You're our ace in a sleeve. Before you ask, no, we cannot send you back. Not yet. See, that's the nature of every summoning. It must have a reason. And a reason you have. As an undead outside of others' influence, you will be our torch in the dark. Your spark will become the flame to purify the rot of this world and free us from the unending cycle of despair. Search for the evil lurking in this world. Smell the sulfur in the air. Taste the corruption. Understand the shattered reality. Sense the vitriol staining the remains. Only then will you be free again and able to leave. Alright guys, so now that we talk to that whatever that is skeleton uh this appears to be some kind of game where you wake up uh apparently your character died and you were cursed but you were revived by some uh probably native american shaman and here we are so we're just kind of going through and uh seeing how this world is it looks like there's a lot of undead creatures and monsters that we'll have to probably fight our way through but uh this is kind of the gist of the game and uh we'll just play through it and see uh see how it goes Can't say no to such a curiosity.
Okay, so it looks like we go through this cave here, check all the bones, look and see if there's anything worthwhile picking up. There's quite a bit of tool tips here to try to help you out. Um, this appears to be our inventory. Um, it's a grid-like system, so it's probably a situation where you have to rotate things to fit in your bag. Uh, and it looks like there's some price values on there, so there may be some selling in this game. What do we have here? Okay, so it looks like we have surprise attacks here, uh, so we'll probably take this slow, heavy axe, try to sneak up behind or just quickly sneak up in front of a zombie and take him out. The attack's probably going to be pretty slow looking at this rusty uh, axe, but I guess it's better than nothing if you don't have any other weapons. Can't say no to such a curiosity. You won't find any answers lingering here. Better move towards the dark places and glimmering gold. Search for the evil lurking in this world. Smell the sulfur in the air. Taste the corruption. Understand the shattered reality. Sense the vitriol staining the remains. Okay, so it looks like we have to do a little bit of inventory management in this game as well from what you see all the different items here um, and I guess you have to get ammo for each of the different guns that you're gonna find so yeah it's a pretty much a, uh, a looter type game uh, a lot of inventory management a lot of looking for weapons and picking up bullets and stuff for them so we'll see how this goes What is it? A dead... I sense the restless spirits nearby. 
but still I hoped your body would be protected by my charms. I found a body, your body, among the remains of monsters, and decided to bury you in a manner akin to my tribe. I, I, I am nobody. Used to talk to spirits, guide the tribe. Now, now tribe shattered. I found a body, your body, among the remains of monsters, and decided to bury you in a manner akin to- Good, good. Walk on, tainted one. Many a spirit here, restless. Hungry. <laughs> you, you want to help. Odd, restless soul you are. Take this packet. Journey past the tracks of fiery iron horse. Find a cave, which used to be a burial site for many of my tribe. And if you kill any creatures disturbing the peace of spirits, it will be for greater good. I thank you, tainted one. There's nothing I can give you, but I am- I would go to- Okay, so the shaman appears to also be, uh, your vendor for the game, so that's the reason why there's some gold currency in here, but man, his stuff is- Pretty expensive so we don't have a whole lot of money right now so we'll probably just have to come back to him as we find more items in the world Since you are here, let us explain what is needed of you. This place has been corrupted by a curse, and you need to find its source. We don't know what has brought it to this land, so keep your eyes open. Bring us anything you may deem weird or disturbing. And if you happen to get lost, come to us. We may be able to help or ease your burden. For now, we know where you can begin your search. Follow the most strong scent of darkness around, under the burned church. Within ruined city, you will find part of your answers. Anything else? Ah, we could, could we? Yes, definitely. We could bless you. Not for free, mind you. We seek the cursed gold, the shining metal of doom and corruption. Bring it to us, so we may hide it from the mortal hands. You got the gold? Bury it beneath this totem, and we shall bless you. We can do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? Gets the job done.
some pretty uh, comic book style like uh, graphics in this game. Uh, pretty pixelated, but that's just the style uh, of the game. It's not one of those high res 3D games, but um, appears to be pretty challenging from what I see. A lot of sneaking and a lot of trying to catch these zombies off guard. And they do run at you pretty fast when they do see you. I don't need that. Okay, so it looks like you get some bleed, they get bleed damage to you, and you die pretty quick in this game. So I, I'm thinking that this is. I have a rendezvous with death. And I respawn gold here always at this guy. A blessing. You got the gold. Bury it beneath this shame. Uh, so he also takes gold. Okay, so yeah, this is probably going to happen a lot. I'm probably going to get killed a lot in this game because it does seem like it's a lot of dodging and blocking. So you may see me die quite a bit in this game. My new favorite thing. See, it doesn't hurt now.
All right, so remember what I said about dying a lot? There you go. What That's probably going to be pretty common. Uh, there are very not sure what the heck killed me. Shame. Some kind of zombie with wings on it, but, you know, hey, uh, I tried to hit him as much as I can with my blunt axe, but without the right weapons, I guess this is going to be a challenging part of the game. Let's run all the way back over there and uh, see how we do. New face around these parts. All right, so it looks like we got more than one vendor in this game. We got a trader over here. Let's see what he has for sale. So he actually has quite a bit to sell, but again, I don't have a lot of money, and it looks like a lot of his stuff is expensive, but. He has some pretty cool rifles and handguns to sell, as well as some maps and a backpack that probably will expand my inventory. Blessing, you got the gold. Shame. All right, looks like we're coming up on some kind of town, old town, filled with monsters. I'm very under equipped to fight these guys, but I'm gonna try anyway. I got a handgun here. Let's see how it goes. Right off the bat. Too many bad guys coming at me. I'm definitely going to die. I'm already at 50 out of 100. 25 out of 100. 5 out of 100. And there we go. Third, fourth death. I'm not sure. I, I lost track. <laughs> but this is something that's going to happen a lot in the game. Back again. Lament ye poor, it could be arranged yet. Yeah. Let's see. The spirit of Great Cat looks upon. Okay, I think at this point, um, we're going to go ahead and put a bookmark in the game. We're going to come back, see if we can survive a little bit longer than we have been surviving, and kill some more bad guys. So, as usual, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because it really helps out the channel. And we will see you in the next video.